Hi everyone. In this video tutorial, we'll be looking into the most awaited feature of Harness IDP, the custom plugins. Custom plugins in Harness IDP is built on uh, the Backstage plugin architecture. What does that mean? Is in Backstage, starting from core feature to every other add-on functionality is a plugins. The similar concept applies to plugins in IDP as well. Here, along with the inherent features that we offer with developer portal, you could use your uh, custom plugins or the enabled plugins, curated enabled plugins in uh, Harness IDP to get an access to your tools or infrastructure according to your usage and needs. So we will be looking into how that is possible. So before that, let's, uh, this is uh, the custom plugin page in Harness IDP and I have enabled this plugin. Uh, we will be looking uh, more into how to enable uh, this plugin in IDP. Uh, now let's learn about what is a plugin uh, in Backstage world and how uh, can we create a plugin to be added in Harness IDP. So uh, the, as we said, Backstage is a single page application composed of a set of plugins and to create a Backstage plugin, you need a single CLI card. For uh, today's uh, demonstration, uh, I'll be using the Harness Class Backstage plugin repository and add a new plugin here or uh, to the already present uh, plugins repository. So what I will do is uh, you need to clone this repo, which uh, I have already uh, cloned here in my system. And you could see uh, I have a set of plugins already present here. Now we will use the command that we saw uh, in the docs to create this new plugin. So let's name the plugin as demo plugin. So while this is getting done, one more important thing to uh, look here is presently as custom plugins, we only support front end backstage plugins. Backend support will be coming in a uh, few releases later, but presently it's only front end plugins that are supported. So yeah, this is optional. It will take a few seconds for the plugin uh, to install the plugin. You could see the plugin is already there. It's just running the yarn install for the plugins. We have the node modules, yarn and fix, and yeah, voila, here we have the plugins. So uh, here you could see there are two uh, directories, dev and source here. So your plugin content that uh, is available is in this example fetch component. And you could see these are the content of this uh, demo plugin, which actually populates a dense table. We will be looking more into that. Uh, what exactly uh, is this plugin? Let's let's uh, do yeah, dev and look into how this plugin is. Yeah, so it's localhost. I'm using my localhost somewhere else. Yeah, cool. It'll take some time to load. Okay, so it is the catalog. I want to go to my de demo plugin. So, uh, plugins are actually of three types. Uh, one is card type, uh, another is a tab plugin, and another is a single page plugin. So this is the demo single page plugin that we have generated uh, that comes in an when you run that uh, line yarn uh, create new plugin. And if we look closely into it, this has an index.ts file and uh, plugin.ts file. So this is very important for us. As you could see, uh, the page name is demo plugin page. This we will be using while adding this component. And uh, in the package.json, if you see, we would be having a new plugin added along with the feature flag and CICD plugin. This is the internal uh, demo plugin. Now, uh, there are two ways uh, to add plugin in IDP. Uh, one way is using the public NPM package. So some plugins are available as public NPM package. Uh, this plugin that I have already uh, added to IDP. So you could just use this URL or the other way is to pack this plugin and uh, use it, use the package.tgz generated in IDP. So let's let's try pack this plugin. DSC. So we need to uh, build it and then pack it so that it is easier for us uh, to run that plugin once you add it into Harness IDP. Now let's 
get into the plugins directory cd demo plugin once we are here you run yarn build yeah it's done now you do yarn pack see so it has it has now added this internal plug plugin demo plugin v 10 tzz so this is a, a, another way of adding plugin so let's let's now see how we can add plugin actually here so if you go to plugins custom plugins and start creating a new plugin so uh, this is the way i was saying you could add uh, a npm url and the second way, way is the upload zip file so we'll do this we will go ahead and I will open it in Finder. Let's... Okay. So let's take it to here and let's drop this file. Yeah, the drop didn't work. So let's see, let's use. Yeah. So as you could see here, uh, the pl plugin is added here. Now the next step is to add the metadata. Where, where in the display icon, this is uh, since the feature is in beta. Uh, in future, we will be allowing to add your own icon. Presently, we have a default icon uh, which will be sold. The plugin name is demo plugin. Package name. Okay, so this is interesting. So here, this package name that uh, you need to so here comes from the package.json uh, file, or from you could take it from here. This package.json file, you could see the name is internal plugin demo plugin. So this is the package. Uh, remember, you have in inside your plugin repo, uh, uh, you will have this package.json, and you take this name from there. And you go here and add the package name. Description just a demo table. Demo table category is it is it can be let's say it's just a demo created by you could select so this this is basically the user groups uh, available uh, in your account. So I will go and select IDP admin for this purpose. And plugin applies to all the services, and uh, so so since I I don't have this plugin in any of the uh, open source repo or a documentation is not available, so I will uh, leave this empty for now. So here now this is actually a single page plugin. So uh, you could see there is a card, there is a tab, and there is the men menu inside nav. So we will go for the menu inside nav, and remember. Uh, we saw in that plugin.ds uh, file here this this uh, this is the name of that page and this uh, name you need to add here let, let me add it here that's it so now this is interesting so uh, here if your plugin has a proxy or you you are uh, trying to reach any url through proxy you could enable this this plugin doesn't have proxy so we don't need to enable it so but i will show you uh, other plugins that has proxy if you could see here uh, in let's say let's go for the ci cd plugin we have so ci cd plugin has a uh, proxy uh, to it and if you go and look into the components and say execution list we will be uh, using proxy uh, here to get into the urls so there are certain urls that we are trying to fetch here in this okay let me search the url just a minute we have yeah so response to function response status yes yes all projects annotation yeah so uh, this is the project URL that is that you give in annotation and we take those URLs and try to generate uh, the execution list and execution table. Yeah, these are the uh, URLs that we try to uh, 
generate and uh, we try to uh, do uh, the API request, send the API request here and get the data from. So basically, if you go and check the app config YAML here. So yeah, see here there is a proxy. And uh, in this proxy, uh, you give target as the app harness.io and there is an API key uh, that we choose here and all the headers and targets, uh, everything are present here. Now uh, that that same thing is not available for this plugin. This is a simple front end plugin. We are not hitting any API call. We're just populating a table. So that is not uh, required here. So uh, the other uh, important thing here is if you go, let's say I have this in this docs, I have this plugin. I go and take this proxy and come here and paste it here. So you see um, this, uh, we take the authorization as a secret token. And you could add this secret token here with this variable uh, here. Let's say secret token. Yeah, let's place this in. And the secret essentially is stored inside. I'll show you this plugin token. This is stored inside the harness secret manager, which is the most uh, uh, encrypted uh, way and most secure way to save this plugin. And you could select this and you know plugin token is selected and uh, you don't have to expose it here uh, in this app config.yaml. Then if any of the URLs you are trying to uh, fetch or you are trying to access that is behind a firewall, you could add the host URL, let's say one zero zero two zero and you need you can add a delegate that will help you access this URL. So since we don't have these configurations, we don't need to uh, enable it uh, for this plugin. And you could directly go and enable the plugin. So as soon as you uh, enable this plugin, uh, it actually takes around 30 to 40 minutes because it will take a, a pipeline to run and then it will, uh, a plugin like this will show up. But uh, if you see here, if you come to here, pay this page or here you see this plugin is already enabled and it is enabled as a card. I'll show you so that as well. Go to plugins and here, sorry, custom plugins, go to edit. Yeah, so you see here I have used the npm JS and this is the pa package name is everything. Uh, and here we have the source and documentation thing. So you see, uh, I have selected the layout as card and it is a so I deploy card. Also, uh, when you, uh, Come here, this is the source and category and created by also is shown here. So this is how uh, custom plugins uh, work in uh, Harness IDP. So you need to give it approximately 30 to 40 minutes for this plugin to show up. Uh, and uh, the, basically the other thing to consider here is we only have IDP supports the front end plugins, the backstage front end plugins uh, is supported in Harness IDP. And also we have a extended plugins list, which is a set of curated plugins. And this marketplace has all the set of plugins that you could enable in addition to uh, these all enabled plugins. And you could explore the backstage uh, marketplace, plugin marketplace and request our team to add uh, this uh, plugins. And if these are any of these plugins are just uh, front end plugins, you could directly go and add it to custom plugins. But our suggestion would be uh, to users to only add those plugins that you have created on your own uh, to custom plugins because these curated plugins goes go through a security test and other tests before we enable it uh, in your account. So in case you want to enable anything from marketplace, please reach out to our team so, so that you know the curated plugin is properly uh, tested and it doesn't affect uh, your developer portal or doesn't leak any data from your developer portal. So thank you. That's all uh, for this demo.